Hello everyone, welcome back to Mount and Blair Warband with the Nova Aetas mod. And right now I am still fighting my war against the Papal States. I uh, did ask um, to sue for peace, but the Pope has declined even though he was fighting a true uh, two-front war. He's fighting against the Serenites as well as against me, and he's losing both wars technically. Um, so he he's just going to continue to fight for honor's sake, but I guess as soon as, well, we either destroy this guy or, and that's what I actually want to do, get him on our side, uh, we'll be able to peace out. Now, uh, why do I want this guy on my side? First of all, he's the only friend I have, except for my companions, I suppose. And um, more importantly, he's actually a loyal guy. So when I was looking at um, the characters of the uh, Papal State, we have Grand Duca Maragrem, and yeah, he likes me a lot, and he is a loyal vassal. So, um, over the uh, over the break or in between episodes when I was going forward um, we had a bunch of lords that were trying to join us um, as, as vassals but they were all well I mean unsurprisingly treacherous or disloyal vassals and of course I don't want to have these kind of vassals myself because they wouldn't just you know leave and perhaps they take a thief with them and that's obviously something I do not uh, want so therefore I I guess we're gonna talk to this guy he's currently running from me which is actually not too bad because that will allow me to ask him if I uh, well it allows me to ask him uh, if he wants to join me without having to um, well fight him necessarily so okay so we're gonna have to talk to him in private how do you feel about Pope Gregory long may he live um, yeah Let's see. What do you think? Uh, hmm. So I guess yeah, he's so loyal. I cannot convince him. I have a special kind. I carry out a task. Join me. I want you to join me. Yeah, you can't do any of that. Okay. It's kind of interesting that you can use your influence to influence enemy lords as well, but that costs tri uh, yeah twice as much, uh, three times as much. Whereas um. Influencing neutral lords costs twice as much, and obviously, uh, in, in influencing your vassals or your f faction lords does not have any extra cost. Um, but yeah, I don't see how I can make him part of my thing. So we could fight him. We could fight him. But I'm actually, I'm actually not too sure if I want to fight him because um, right now, actually, let me quickly see this. I have. 106, I have 7, 75 Jeroian guards, whereas he has what? He has 14 of them, and we would be fighting here. Okay, you know what? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Uh, if you do not want to join me, we're gonna have to fight you. Unfortunately, we have so good relations, but there's not much I can do. I will probably let him escape. Although, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna take him captive, maybe I'm gonna, th we'll have to see. I mean, he might escape yet, so we'll, we'll see. But uh, definitely, we're gonna have to be, uh, be fighting here. Um, and, oh, that's bad. Alright, so cavalry, uh, no, cavalry, join me, infantry, charge in, uh, archers, you can join here as well. And I guess cavalry, oh my god, what's going on? I cannot move. Oh, there we go. So, uh, cavalry, I want you to, uh, well... I guess dismount. That's that's what I want. Yes, cavalry dismount, and maybe we can get rid of these horses that are blocking the way. Oh my God, what's what's going on right now? Okay, all right, there you go, stupid horse. Can we like, dude? Can my archers please go away? This is not the best spot. Yeah, we we have this this choke point here, and that's not really good for me. All right, we'll uh we'll see if I can. Release a fearsome cry. Is that possible? Is that does that work? I don't think that does anything. Oh, maybe. Yeah, but we're losing tons of people, which is just stupid. This is just not the way it's supposed to be. All right. Um, infantry, just go here. We'll have to let them come, come here because I, I don't want to fight like that. That doesn't really do me any good. Um, so we'll just do it like that, and. Yeah, we'll let them do whatever they, they, they please. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Uh, these horses are blocking the way. Let's get them killed. Alright, there we go. Alright, so. That's more what I was thinking. Alright, now. And cavalry, can you please just stand back here as well? Alright, perfect. And now we're just going to be fighting them. Alright, that's much better. Alright, infantry charge in. So now we can do that. And cavalry, you follow me. 
Okay, perfect, perfect. And I'm just gonna be taking care of these guys. Not entirely sure what they're doing, but okay. I'm just gonna be killing them, I guess. Alright. Let's keep the crossbowmen running in. Yeah, they have many Jerodian guard as well, but I have more. So this should actually not be too difficult for us. But yeah, we're actually losing tons of men. But I mean, I'm not sure if these men are, you know, if they're actually troops or if they're just vassal uh, farmers and shit. Like, dude! Alright, kill this guy and kill this guy as well. Thank you. I'm a little bit confused. Look at this! Look at this guy up there running. Alright, you know what? I'm actually gonna shoot this guy. Yes. I didn't even kill him. That's kind of surprising. Okay, how many men have we lost? We have lost five dead. That is not cool. Why do they have so many of their guards? I mean, I have way- I brought way more. It's these stupid farmers that are doing all the stupid stuff. Alright, so, um, cavalry charge in. I'm not entirely sure what you guys are doing. I want infantry to charge in as well. Alright. Is that- is that it? No, they still have plenty of forces. They have plenty of crossbowmen. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Go away. Go away. Just move. Move, move, move. And let me hear myself. Oh my god, these combat abilities are just amazing. Um, but, yeah, we're actually losing quite a lot of men. I'm just gonna stay here and take out some of these guys. Why do they- Whoa, wow, that was kind of lucky. Why do they have so many more Jeroian guards? I don't really get that. It said they had, what, 14? How come they have so many left? I'm just gonna kill them. Like that. Alright, one more. And I think now we're gonna have to... Well, take care of this guy. Alright, that was not him. It was a stupid crossbowman. What are, where are you going? Alright, I'm gonna try and shoot this guy. Not sure where he's running to, but I will catch him. No, I missed. Alright, fine. Right, can we stop losing that many troops, please? What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna try this guy out as well. Alright. How many more men does he fucking bring? It only about a hundred. We should have killed them all by now. Okay, never mind. What do you want? Bastard. Rodok Sergeant. Okay, can we make it through now? Holy shit, we've been stuck here forever. I thought we are the defenders. How come... Yeah, how come if we're the defenders, we're the ones outside of the gates? That doesn't really make much sense. And they have more? I have the feeling he's the one with the 75 Jeroian guards and not me. Might actually be the case. That he gets my troops for some odd reason. Nah, it doesn't really make much sense. But, you know, I'm just kind of annoyed at, at the fact that they have endless men. Alright, I'm just gonna go here. Oh, wow, they have more men? What the heck? Alright. Let's try and just shoot someone. Good. Alright, and we'll try and take this guy out as well. My shield is almost down. Right, just, just, come on. Okay, now we're racking up kills. Can you shoot, please? Thanks. Okay, anyone else left? Let's just reload real quick. Um, Alright, yeah, 100 killed. Wow, we lost so many of our good troops. It's really quite devastating. But, I mean, it's, it's Jeroian Guard against Jeroian Guard, I guess. That's, that's what you get. And we really had a bad, like, location that we started in. Um, still, I'm surprised. Look at this, how many we're killing. I, I thought he had, like, what, 14? Maybe, uh, you know what? It might be that he had two different, uh, forces of Jeroian Guard, just like we do. And, uh, one was much bigger. Alright, this guy's dead. Anyone else left? Yes. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going the right way. Okay, there's one guy up there. Okay, yeah, well, he died quickly. And there's one up there as well. Can I shoot this guy? Yes. Oh, I missed. God damn it. Alright, come on. Give me that kill. Ah, bastards. Alright, fine. I think that's that's pretty much it. So, we, we won against our friend, which is obviously... Well, 
it's obviously not what I what I wanted. I wanted him to join me. I would have made him a lord of a, of a castle. He right now only has a village, so he would have definitely rose in ranks. What are we doing? Who are we waiting for? There must be someone stuck. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to be uh, dealing with this guy and I'll come back as soon as this battle is over. Oh, never mind. It is over just yet. Alright, perfect. <laughs> just in time. I was about to cut away. Cool. So, yeah, we won that. Let's actually see... Wow, 14 guards have we lost. Man, 29 wounds. That's ridiculous. So how many have we lost? Oh, that's Those are my allies. Okay, he had 36 and another... Okay, so I only saw these 14, but he had another 36. Okay, that makes more sense. So in that in that regard, we actually didn't do too bad. All right, fine. That That's... that's I guess I can... I can uh, accept that. And he has three troops left. I'm going to just order my people to attack. I did not lose anyone. Perfect. Um, and he did escape. Okay, well, I guess that, yeah, takes away my, well, decision. Uh, I think I'm just going to ransom these guys because I don't really care that much. I don't know what they're always screaming, but yeah, okay. So we're going to take, oh, yes, all right, mom looks. Now, of course, they're Muslim forces, but then again, they're so good. You can't not take them. Um, I guess a horseman can be kind of useful as well. Javelinese, archers, and infantry. I like the infantry as well. Bedouin infantry, they're not that good. Camel archers will take, and I guess we'll take, yeah, the archers as well. I mean, just gonna grab as many people as possible. Yes, Javelinese are sweet as well. We can put them into a garrison. You know, it's not really that big of a deal. Okay, so I wonder, uh, now that we've defeated him... I wonder if the Papal States are now ready to sue for peace. I'm actually going to ask again because I kind of don't want to be at war anymore. I, I kind of need time to relax. So, yeah, as I said, many people have already tried to join my court, but I've sent them all away so far. I think this might be a new one, Baron Dalitus. Um, yeah, damn it, now I messed up because I did not, well, I did not check if he's actually good. He's Norse Pagan. Well, I guess that explains it. So, yeah, I'm not going to take you. Um, and we've always been re uh, losing relations with them. That's kind of annoying. Minus 10, just because I don't want them. But, yeah, I guess there's not much I can do about that. Alright, so... Yeah, can we manage a garrison? Anything I can do? I guess I should probably give my... Um, Jeroian guards up there. Oh, wow, yeah. So we used to have 140 of them. And we have 86 left after all of these battles, so... That's quite, uh, ah, that's quite a blow to our, to our forces. But yeah, what can we do? Um, anyways, I guess I'm. Oh well, I, I am recruiting more troops, so that's fine. And we'll make our way over here and give a couple more units over there. And there, wait, why did I gain the king's purse? I did not. Okay, I did. I did not get anything. Okay, so that's why the salary is relatively low. Awesome. So okay, this is our weekly budget. It's kind of important. Our religious unit at seventy two. I thought it was at 77. Well, I guess because we took over another castle, that could be it. Yeah. So, um, taxes are actually quite good. Um, Terrigate Tardis. Wow, we're actually making more tax from our villages than from that. That's kind of interesting. Trade Terrors, investment revenues. Yes, I've invested in our uh, kingdom already. And gifts and investments from commoners. Good. Now, we have not invested anything in research, but I think we can start to do that now. And yeah, we have a very nice amount of money in the treasury. That's pretty good. All right. But we will also obviously have to pay some money if we want to have some vassals. And I definitely, I mean, I think at least one vassal who could maybe take Tardis and this village. That would be probably a good thing. But yeah, let's go ahead quickly here. And uh, yeah, let's get some the javelineers, I think, we'll put over here. The archers as well. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's uh, take you out. The camel archers. Yeah, we'll give him here as well because I don't want to use him. Serenite Infantry. Then we have the Mamluks I'll keep because they're obviously cavalry. And then, yeah, we'll give you these guys. All right. And we have a couple of Jeroian Guard here. So I'm thinking about maybe taking them just so that we have 100 back in the garrison of Hiroshima again. Yeah, I'm actually going to take all of you just so that I get the right ones. And, yeah, let's leave here. But yeah, I guess we're going to be asking for peace with the Papal State again, and I will be managing my kingdom. So far, I don't think any of the Papal Lords is currently in the Holy Land, so we should be we should be fine. Only this village has been looted. The rest is currently quite awesome. So yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to cut away, and I'll come back as soon as I have news for you.
So even though we are still at war with the papal state, uh, neither the Pope nor his vassals have dared to set foot in the Holy Land for the last couple of days, so I thought it's safe to leave our homelands there and make our way over to the New World to just check on our colonies and see what's going on. And yeah, something very big is going on. Uh, all of my colonies, uh, you can see right here, still belong to the Papal State, which uh, I kind of find interesting. I mean, um, I did name the episode 24 The Great Schism. I didn't really talk about this, but I, I kind of feel like we, we have a schism going on in the Catholic religion right now. We have obviously still the Pope in Aldurias uh, with his church, well, his his traditional Catholic church. And then we have kind of ourselves, the, the Grand Master of the uh, Holy Sepulchre, with our own sort of church because, well, we are at war with the papal state right now, right? So we, we are not technically an anti-pope, which is actually a possible title, but when I first started out my kingdom, I could not, uh, well, I, I picked the Grand Master title because it, fit, it was more fitting at that time. Uh, and yeah, apparently when I started off my kingdom once again, I could not choose it again, which is kind of sad. But even then, I would have probably gone with a king instead of an anti-pope. Point of the matter is, uh, we kind of have a great schism going on, not necessarily, um, but the church or the religion is definitely split between me uh, and, and, well, the ones controlling the Holy Land and obviously the traditional papal states. So I feel like um, that our colonists... Um, they, the words of our revolution or rebellion, I guess, against uh, our Lord have not really reached the colonies yet because they still believe they're part of the papal state and they don't know why I'm flying my, my banner without the banner of, of the Pope. And yeah, so they, are, they need to be convinced that they should be part of our, uh, well, realm again. Now, I've already checked this out and it's kind of weird because um, if we have a look, I was not, well, I was not permitted to uh, land on the beach with my ship because we're technically at war with the Papal States, but I can still do everything in my colony that I used to be able to. I can visit the colony, I can add stock, I can even take the spices here, which is kind of cool, and probably most importantly, I can add and take people to and from the garrison, which is kind of cool but also obviously somewhat stupid so we're gonna exploit that a little bit simple because the colony is obviously mine and i would kind of hate to just you know kill my well kill my own people that's that wouldn't really make much sense so i think i'm just gonna take all of the cavalry out for now because i will probably keep them yeah i will probably just keep them in my in my uh party and the rest will will take out for now um and i'll put them back in to the garrison once the uh, once the colony is back on our control. So why is the take button not working? I'm not entirely sure, um, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, we're gonna take them over real quick. I really wish, I really wish there was a better way to do this. Okay, I actually missed that guy. I need to make sure that he stays in our army. Anyways, I really wish there was a faster way to get people over, but anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and besiege the colony. And now I did say I I wanted to kind of maybe see a fight here uh, when I was visiting, visiting our Grand Fortress. I kind of wanted to have a fight here, but that was not what I had in mind. I did not think that I would be the one attacking my own settlement, but apparently that's uh, that's how it's going to be. So yeah, they're all my people. They are ready. Uh, they're not actually moving. I mean, I, I suppose it does make sense. Oh wow, these guys, look at this. This guy looks nuts. Yeah, um, I mean, of course, there's no one there. It's still kind of burning, which is strange, but but yeah. As I said, this is not how I imagined a siege would go. I I, I would uh, always picture, or I pictured, always pictured me on the defend uh, defending side. So this is obviously quite strange. But I do at least want to get up here and see. Yeah, yeah, technically we would actually be able to just storm our own walls. That is so strange. This is like the strangest thing. But yeah, okay. So apparently, yeah, we have won for quite a while now. Alright, so I guess we'll just leave. Uh, we were victorious, there were no casualties, of course not. And victory is ours. You and your garrison are able to hold the colony and terrify the enemy. So we, got, we gained money, we lost relation with our own faction. Um, yeah, but we can do that again. We could besiege the colony again. Wait, isn't it ours now? We even gained experience. 
No, it's still not ours. It's still not ours. Now, maybe... Okay, ho hold on, hold, hold on. Maybe this is because I did not have anyone in the garrison? But then again, that doesn't make sense. We took Terragrid without a garrison as well. So... You know what? I'm actually gonna give you... I'm actually gonna give this guy to the garrison. And we'll besiege this. And we'll see if... If maybe that will change it. So we have one dude that we need to fight. And... This makes it more of a fight. And maybe then we can take it over? Because I really would like to have... The colonies under my control. Now it's not a big deal. Because obviously we can still take out all of the resources. And, and stuff. And, and well. Do, do pretty much everything that we... We need to do, but um, I don't even know. I don't even know where this guy is. But yeah, we can still basically do everything we need to do. But it does bother me that it says that this colony belongs to the papal state instead of uh, the king of the Holy Sepulchre. All right, can I can I get up there? Yes, perfect. My men are much faster. I I obviously went the wrong way, which is uh, obviously kind of annoying. I wonder if I would die if I was to go down down here. Should I try? Well, let's at least. Go over here. Yeah, that's not as bad. Alright, so the Serenite Javelin has been killed. Okay, so we actually have some casualties. Is that now better? Okay. Um, we still... Okay, we lose even more relations with our own faction. And that seems to not have been enough. Oh, okay, so there's no way we're going to get that back. <sighs> well, that's kind of unfortunate, isn't it? Hmm. Well, as I said, it's not that big of a deal, I suppose, because we are, well, we're technically able to still do everything we want, but that kind of annoys me, actually. All right, well, hmm, that's a bug. Now, this is something uh, people have actually mentioned uh, quite, well, in, in, in maybe episode two or something, uh, that one thing that's really annoying about this mod are the, uh, the bugs. And that is true. It's so enjoy. This mod adds so many things, but it could be just so much more enjoyable if all of these weird bugs could be fixed. Like this, for example, actually bothers me more than it should. Um, I mean, it's just if at least the color would be correct, it would be nice. But this is just why I worked so hard for these colonies, and and now they're gonna be. Part of the papal state. All right, I guess it's something I'm just gonna have to get used to. Now, since I actually don't have enough room in my inventory to pick up everything, I have tons of tools now that I probably don't even need. Um, I, I think I will have to unload my tools up in the Golden Island first, and then uh, I can actually start, well, getting our first gold, and I will also pick up a little bit of silver. But that is, um, yeah, that's something I'm not gonna be doing uh, right now here in this episode. I'll do that off camera. Um, I, I guess next time I'll come back once we're at peace with the Papal State. Maybe then there's still a way. Maybe I have to reload in order to get this back on our control. I'm not too entirely... Well, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we'll we'll find a way, I, I suppose. Anyways, though, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.